Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, music learning apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today I want to talk about music learning apps. Now I'm not a music teacher and I would never pretend to be, but uh, I've been working with schools and, and some of the teachers I've been working with are in music teachers and they've shared some apps they found very useful so I'm sharing them right here on the air and let's get to it immediately. The first one I want to talk about is Doremi Zoo and Doremi Zoo is a way to practice some basic understanding of scales and some playing of actual songs and the way it works is if you press the keyboard So you've got a character shape, you've got the name of uh, the note, and then you've got up there a display that shows you what you've played. But this is just to free play. What you can also do is follow specific songs. So if you press that magic wand, you get to look at some uh, songs that have been inputted into this. And these are classic songs that are used to teach basic keyboarding skills. London Bridge, uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb, and this is great also because kids are very usually familiar with this. And then what you do is you choose it, and it shows you what to press. So you press. And you get the sound when you get it wrong. If you try something and you don't do it right, so let me try this just to show you. If I go, you get that noise and you get to try again, picking it up where you left. So there is feedback on getting it right or wrong. And this is Doremi Zoo, and it's a great little app that allows you to teach some very basic things. And um, you can even share the results uh, the recording with others through the email. Another one that does something very similar uh, is Doremi123. This one does very similar things but it has different fun scales. So if you get, if you play, press the rainbow button to make your own music. So you can make your own music or you can repeat things. What I love about this one is it has different representations. So, place, rock and, river. and you can buy added say? packages to go with it and you see you can choose different shapes. You can choose pandas or stars and you can see these are different shapes but you can actually use just like in the previous one. Sorry. Do re mi. It has a do re mi where, or you can use numbers or even colors as a way to do it. Let's use the do re mi. Do, re, mi. And now you can play. So you can do that and you can press two at the same time so. and see what happens when you do that. So this one is do re mi one, two, three and you can change that. Of course, you can also do what we've done before, which is go to a specific song. And again, you get one song with the basic app. Let's use our ears to learn a song. Let's start with the first part. Part one. Do, 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 re. Let's learn to play it. So in this one, let's start with just three notes from the song. Listen to the melody, then repeat what you hear. Are you ready? Do, do, re. Can you play back? So, the what this app does at this point is it actually walks you step by step. So, instead of giving you the whole thing and having to repeat it from beginning to end every time, then press the repeat button. Instead of that, it does it a few notes at a time and builds up as time goes on so kids can learn in segments and then put it all together. So this is the Doremi 1 to 3 and this is the light version, the full version you have to pay for 
and it allows you to do obviously more songs and things like that. There are some other apps that do that. A while back we showed Storybots, so that's another one that does something very similar. Again, very, very cute and you can uh, use that to create music as well. The next one I want to uh, talk about is called Etude and in Etude you can have actually a library of creations. You can pay for them or you can get some of the ones that are free. Right now I have in my library three different pieces of music that are free and here what you can do is you can listen, you can see the position on the piano keyboard and you can see the notes. So let's uh, take this uh, and you just play it. So what you can see is the position of both hands and the notes playing so you can identify where it is and you can actually change the notes not here, right here, you can change the notes so instead of highlighting the whole measure you can do it highlighting by note and you can see now it's easier to follow exactly where you are and of course that's even faster and this is not just classical music it's all pieces that can be bought so if we go back from the library to the store you can actually see this is my purchase things but I can also go and see what popular uh, music is out there. You can see what's available for free. Danny Boy is available for free. Fugate from uh, Bach is available for free. So there are different things that go for free and you can download. You don't have to pay for it but you can pay and those are usually three dollars a piece and then you get to keep them uh, forever. So it's a great app for those who are learning piano or are more advanced, you want them to start reading the notes, a great choice and also combining that with the listening. There is no option in this app for playing though, so you want to take that into account. So that's another uh, music app. The last one that I want to show is actually called Rap to Beats. Rap to Beats is an option to give for your students where they can actually record their own rap with a background beat that comes from the device. So what you can do here is you can record a new rap, you can listen to old raps you've made or you can listen to what others have made. Now this is where you need to be careful in listening to others uh, there's no control over whether they're appropriate or not so I would highly discourage that Instead, what you can really focus on is on recording new so they can choose a track and you can download different tracks. They're free in this app and they're limited but that's fine. And then you can hear it to test the music. So, and so that would be your background but you can still record on top of that which is uh, how this would work. So this would go, we've selected a, a beat and now since we selected it we need to, as we create, put in a name. I'll just put a fake name right here. And then what is very interesting is this is just a record button so kids can free rap but more interesting I think from an instructional perspective is actually adding lyrics. So you can actually you can go to lyrics and they can input the lyrics here. They can cut and paste or they can write it originally here. So they can actually be ready to do this from text and think about the text that's going to be there as part of the rap. And you can have uh, different aspects. For example, rhyme dictionary is very, very useful. If you are trying to rhyme and in rap, we, we do try to rhyme. You can put the word here and then find rhymes that will go with that. So let's try just to demonstrate. And you get a list of things. Obviously I use something with an ing ending. There's going to be a lot of them. Um, but you get the idea. You can get a list of words that would rhyme with the word you chose. So it's a way for kids to when they get stuck find a solution. So this, this one is great, it's called Rap to Beats 
And I think if you work in middle school or high school, or even in the elementary level, depending on how uh, your classroom runs, this could be a great option. And that's something that you can then share with parents or with other kids in the classroom. So today we talked about a few apps that uh, address very different aspects of music. And I think each one of them can be used in its own way to work on uh, rhythm skills, on uh, notes, on uh, the ability to create, especially free create and record it, and obviously the combination of words and music as in the wrapping. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.